Hey everyone, it's Anthony. Sorry if my hair looks like a mess today. Um, it's just been a long day. Um, it's light out at least. Um, you can see the sun on my face, but uh, no going out and about today. Um, my sister just started working at, at her first esthetician job, um, which I'm really happy for. Uh, she you know worked really hard for it and I'm glad she's doing what she wanted to do and she's really happy about it um but she's you know doing the whole paperwork thing and um getting acclimated to the job so uh, her hours aren't really set in stone so we've kind of been waiting to see what time she'd get off work today and we have to pick her up so uh, we didn't go out and do anything uh today yet but once uh, her schedule gets in place we'll probably uh, figure out how to do something then. Um, so I'm just sitting here, you know, working as usual. Uh, I wanted to make a video for you guys. Um, I'm real happy with the way uh, this channel is going lately. Um, the views seem to be going up a lot more, uh, especially my Universal vlog um, from the first of the year. It's uh, well past 60 views, uh, and that's a lot more than I normally get on my videos. So. Um, my channel has over 600 uh, and 20 views so far now. Um, I got 42 subscribers. Um, my books are doing well. I'm really happy with uh, the way things are going at the beginning of the year as far as my career goes. So um, I thought I'd do another tag for you guys. Um, I found this Tumblr blog thing called of course fuck yeah surveys um and i found the short tag video thing i could do called the feature tag which i know i haven't done before um and i thought i'd do that for you guys now so uh without further ado um here is the feature tag uh question one where do you see yourself in 10 years uh, i see myself married hopefully um, or at least have found the love of my life at that point. Um, hope to be starting a family. Um, hope to be uh, an accomplished writer and still making videos for you guys, of course. Uh, probably in 10 years, something bigger is going to come along where it's like holograms or something. Um, but other than that, uh, I just want to you know have a family of some sort. Uh, I have a lot of friends. Uh, hopefully be living somewhere near LA. Uh, travel, that kind of thing. That's what I would like to do. Um, number question two, do you want to get married? Yes, I do. Um, I'm in, not in a rush to do it, you know, anytime soon. Uh, I just would like to meet someone I care about and fall in love and all that stuff. So, uh, but I do eventually, yes, want to get married. Uh, question three, do you want to have children? Yes, I do. Um, I love children. Um, I've always just imagined myself being a father. And I want to, you know, raise my children. Um, I guess that's a pretty simple answer. Uh, yes, I do want to have children. Uh, question four, do you want to move? If yes, where? Um... Well, I'm happy just being in California right now, um, to be honest, because I spent a lot of years away from my home state of California, and um, I'm happy being here, but of course, my ultimate dream is to be living in or around Los Angeles one day. Uh, that's where I feel like my home is, that's where I feel like I belong, uh, so hopefully in the future I'll be able to get there. Um, you guys can help me out by watching my videos and uh, uh, t buying my books and stuff, you know. Help me get there and then uh, I can make even more awesome videos for you guys. Maybe some scripted shows. Um, question five. How does your dream house look like? Um, well, I don't really see myself in like a big lavish mansion. Um... That's the one thing I was just talking about earlier today was uh, every time I see a movie where there's a 
well to our family um, and they're living it's like a three person family living in this like mansion or castle I always sit there and I wonder you know they probably don't even use most of that house you know they probably use a few rooms and that's it they have the rest of the house it's just for show and for me personally I'd rather have a nice but smaller house um, and go out and do things in the world more I'd rather use the money for that the only thing I would like to lavish myself with in the future besides all my entertainment and gaming system stuff is to have an indoor pool because um, with my illnesses uh, the heated pool is much better for me um, and I'd like to have that in my future house but other than that I don't need like a big huge castle or anything like that um question six what is your dream job that is obviously being a writer an accomplished writer and also you know maybe a filmmaker uh, I mostly want to do the writing for film but I, you know never know maybe I'll direct one day um question seven what are five things you want to do before you die and here we're getting to the happy cheery part <laughs> um what do I want to do before I die I want to fall in love uh, that including that is like getting married and everything. Uh, I want to have children, have a family. Um, I want to travel through Europe, like you know, England, France, Italy, Spain, all that. Uh, I want to go through there and experience some culture. Uh, I'd like to go to Hawaii. And then the final thing I want to do before I die is actually something like on my last day I'd love it to just spend one last day with my family you know soak it all in you know see their faces hold them tell everyone I love them that's what I'd like to do before I die um, eight are you scared of the future I mean sort of yeah because you know the future is not set in stone you never know what's going to happen my health being what it is and the world being in the state that it is anything can happen at any time um, but I try and look at it like, you know, uh, even with my health being what it is, you know, a bus can crash through this wall right now while I'm making this video. You know, kill me. Uh, things happen all the time that you can't predict, you know. Um, you can try and hide away from all the bad stuff in the world all you want. Um, but, you know, bad things are going to find you if you're destined to have bad things happen to you. Uh, I'd rather be out in the world living my life and being happy uh, than hiding away from the world and being miserable just to avoid something that might er happen anyways, you know? So, um, yes, sort of scared for the future, but I'm also excited and hopeful that it's going to be a bright future. Um, question nine, what's your biggest dream you would like to achieve in life? Uh, I'd love to have one of my stories be turned into a, like a big movie uh, and also a television series uh, that'd be great to see them on the screen like that to have it brought to life because when I write I always write it thinking about what it would look like and on a movie screen kind of you know I want to see in my mind what I'm writing I want to see how it plays out I want to see in my mind I'm watching a movie as I write you know everything that I write down it's I'm writing it like I'm watching a movie that I've never seen before. Uh, it just kind of pours out of me like that. So that's my biggest dream. Um, also, of course, you know, like I've said in, the, or in other questions, falling in love, having a family, and getting married, and all that. Final question, question ten. Here is another cheery, happy question. What would be the ideal age for you to die? All right. So when do I want to die? Um, a question every young man and woman should answer. Um, I I don't know. I just want to live a full life. That's all I know. I want to live a full, happy life. Um, I don't really have a specific age, you know. Maybe, you know, in my lifetime they'll have created an anti-aging serum or something. Or, you know, freaking vampires are going to rule the world or something. I don't know. Um... But I just would like to have a full, rich life uh, and let it take me to whatever age I was meant to be. Um, for the sake of answering the question, you know, maybe like 104 or something. I don't know. Uh, unless I'm like, you know, a shell pretty much. And just let me go. 
Um, that's it for me. Uh, that was the future tag. Um, I appreciate you guys watching and listening and all that. Um, once I start, you know, talking more with other YouTubers and hanging out and stuff and meeting new people, I'll actually tag people in this tag. Uh, but until then, this is just for you guys to enjoy and to get to know me more uh, about what I see for myself. Um, if you guys have any other kind of videos you'd like to see, you have any suggestions or uh, you're enjoying these videos, any sort of comment, please leave below. Tell me what you think of these videos. Are there other videos you'd like to see? Are there questions you guys have for me? I'd be happy to do a Q&A kind of video if you guys have questions and answers. Or questions and I can answer them. So, um, thanks for all your guys' support. I appreciate it. Um, I'm proud of myself. This is a week into 2014 and we've vlogged every day. Um, look for another episode of my uh, Epicenter reading soon. And I will talk to you guys soon. I appreciate it. Please like, comment, favorite, and share this video. And please go subscribe to the channel. Please, like, spread the word and everything to your friends and family. And if you guys watch these videos, I appreciate it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Anthony Vina. Love you. Peace out, guys.